The ultimate WordPress SEO guide for 2024, rank number one. SEO is super easy, but it can be very overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, I'll show you how to do WordPress SEO in only nine simple steps, so you can immediately take action after watching this video. Hosting at SSL. Choose a reliable hosting provider for better site speed and performance. Manage WordPress hosting sites like SiteGround offers free SSL, CDN, and much more. SSL certificates are very important for secure data exchange and are really favored by Google. Now you got your hosting sorted, but there's another key point that can make or break all your SEO efforts I'm talking about. Theme selection. Pick an SEO friendly WordPress theme that's fast, but at the same time offers good design options. Themes like GeneratePress are lightweight and built with SEO in mind. All our page title websites are built with GeneratePress and GeneratePress. So if you cannot afford GeneratePress, you should look for a theme with clean code, regular updates and responsive design. Choosing the right theme is so important, but there's a simple setting in WordPress that's often overlooked. If you miss this, it could mean Google won't even know your site exists. Let me explain. Visibility settings. Ensure your site is visible to search engines by checking the WordPress setting. During setup, make sure the discourage search engine option is unchecked. And I'm again repeating unchecked. This is crucial for getting your site indexed and found by Google. With your site visible to Google, it's time to focus on how your URL should look. The right structure can boost your SEO and user experience massively, so that's a crucial part. SEO friendly URLs. Use an SEO friendly URL structure like the post name for clearer web address. This makes your URL more readable and relevant, helping with rankings and UX. Now you have your URL, but there's a small detail that can cause big SEO headaches if you are not most careful. It's about consistency in your web address. Here's what I mean. www versus non www. Deciding on using www or non www in your site address and stick to it. Consistency here, avoid as well as duplicate content issues and keep your SEO solid. All the basics are in place. So now it's time to boost your WordPress SEO with some powerful tools. SEO plugins. Install an SEO plugins like Rank Math or Yoast SEO for better optimization. These plugins guide you through optimizing titles, meta descriptions and much more. Our favorite has always been Rank Math, which is easier to manage and configure and also gives you an SEO score for all the pages and posts you are optimizing. Now you have the perfect plugin, but here's another element that guide through your site. It's like a map for search engines. Here's what I'm talking about. XML sitemap. Add an XML sitemap to your site and submit it to the Google search console. This helps Google crawl and index your page more effectively, which will boost visibility. Of course, RankMath will do the job of having XML sitemap done for you. You need to go in and ensure that all the required functionalities are checked in. Your site's easy for Google to navigate now, but how do you make sure your blog post stands out? The right optimization can make huge difference. Let's get into that. Blog post optimization. Use focus keywords, meta description, and snippet preview to optimize posts. This makes your content more relevant to searches and attractive in results. Basically, when you go to Rank Math, you need to decide what actually is going to be your focus keywords. Ensure that focus keywords in the title and first line, if your content as well as in the H tags, that's how you get optimization started. Optimized posts are great, but knowing what people are searching for is even better because the right keyword can bring loads of traffic because this is such an important topic. I made a separate video that you can see on the screen right now so if you want to make this work, then I will see you in the next one. Cheers.